This morning, we've got a behind the scenes look at the early days of Google from the 20th person ever hired there. Google Vice President Marissa Mayer spoke last night at a Q&A session at New York's 92nd Street Y with Bloomberg Business Week editor Josh Tierengel. She talked about trying to stop an idea that ended up making Google a fortune. Listen in. The ads and email story is actually a really embarrassing story for me um, in terms of how I almost blocked a multi-billion dollar business. I remember walking out the door, we had this little glass panel. As I walked out, I leaned back and I said, so Paul, we agreed we're, we're not going to explore that ads idea right now, right? And, <laughs> and, uh, and Paul was like, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. And I came back in at like 9 in the morning, logged into my email, and there were ads everywhere. <laughs> like, Al Gore was coming by the office, and there was an ad for Al Gore books. And one of my friends had mailed me and said, do you want to go for a hike this weekend? And there was an ad for hiking boots. And I was like, you know, like, these ads aren't bad. <laughs> like, they're, you know, they're at least relevant, if not useful. And, um, you know, and so I, by 10.30, I decided I wasn't going to call Paul. Um, and Larry and Sergey came in, and then this interesting thing happened where, and it's sort of interesting in terms of history because people get confused, is we were building Gmail, and I do think that whether or not at targeting ads at email is still an open question, it's still an open issue of debate between Paul and I, I mean, that's how we, we do it. But what happened that night was Paul basically figured out how to target our text ads that have been running alongside of search at content, which traditionally on the web, about 5% of page views that are done every day are searches. So if you walk into like a cyber cafe or a classroom, about one in 20 screens will have a search page up. Which basically meant we had a great database of ads that was good at making money from 5% of the web. What Paul had done was given any paragraph, given any amount of text, he could find a relevant ad from our database to run alongside it. And so it basically was a way of taking our ads database and saying we're not just going to put these ads on Google search, we're going to put these ads out on the web. So today when you see those blocks of textual ads that say ads by Google on the bottom, that's something called AdSense. And it was actually born that night. Uh, and it, in truth, is actually much more successful than even ads inside of Gmail work. Because Larry and Sergey said, wow, like, this is amazing. Let's rip this out of Gmail. Just let people run this on whatever pages they have on the web, which meant that bloggers could suddenly quit their job and blog full time because they could make money from it. And people um, would, you know, like about.com were like, we can put even more content online because we can make money from it. And so, you know, we, we launched AdSense, which I think last year was somewhere in the, you know, the five to seven billion dollar revenue range. <laughs> And that was Marissa Mayer, one of the original Google employees, speaking with Josh Tierengel at a Bloomberg event at the 92nd Street Y in New York City last night.